And an explosive new book about the royal family is out today. Finding Freedom is a biography about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle focusing on their exit from official royal life. The book claims Meghan struggled to settle into her new family and places some blame on Duchess Kate. ABC News royal contributor Omid Scobie is one of the authors and joins us now from London. Omid, thanks for being on. So we know that Harry and Meghan officially resigned as working royals in the spring, but this whole thing seemed to happen pretty quickly. Why such an abrupt exit? Well, I think one of the things that this book really paints out is that actually this had been ongoing for some time in the background. The couple, really ever since the birth of Archie, had grown ever increasingly frustrated within their roles within the palace, or lack of roles, I should say. And of course, those constant attacks from sections of the British media were something that they needed help and support on. And whilst they made a lot of these grievances known within the institution, they found that time and time again, that fell on deaf ears. And their, their grew the idea to perhaps go it alone or change the way that they worked and it took us to where we are today you know there's so much personal detail in this book i'm curious did they weigh in on this at all or give you any sort of approval but there's so much rumors about whether the Sussexes cooperated or whether we have secret interviews with Harry and Meghan, and I'm afraid that's just not the case. We had incredible access to their inner circle, those people that have been friends with them for a long time, uh, people they've worked with in the past and present, and it really helped build a textured portrait of who they are, because one of the things I really wanted this book to do was to almost rehumanize the Sussexes in a way, because I felt like they had almost turned into caricatures by the pages of our tabloids. And we wanted to get to the bottom of a lot of the mistruths that are out there. Well, and you say that this was in the works for longer than it was in the public eye. So when did things start to unravel between the couple and the rest of the royal family? Well, I don't think that things unraveled so much with them and the royal family. Uh, there's this sort of distinct separation between the royal family and the institution of the monarchy. And it was within the institution, the courtiers, the aides, that really look after the lives and schedules and uh, everything to do with members of the royal family. That's where Harry and Meghan found a lot of their problems. They realized that information about their personal lives was leaking onto the pages of the tabloids, often twisted to make the couple look bad for a number of different reasons. And I think Harry was well aware of the things that go on behind the scenes. He, of course, knows a lot of it through the eyes and the voice of his own mother. And he was very protective of Meghan. Of course, once they had Archie, they also wanted to protect him from a future that could be pro potentially problematic if they didn't do something about it. So this was a very long story for them, and really a long journey to really find this new chapter that they were looking for. As we know, they tried to make it work within the institution. They suggested a 50-50 working model, and it didn't work out. It wasn't accepted. You know, when they got engaged, the fact that Meghan was divorced, that she was American, that she's part African-American, all of that played a role in, in the coverage, front and center. So did that also play a role in some of the issues that they faced? Absolutely. A lot of the struggles that they faced within the institution was because Meghan was different. Where she ticked boxes that really should be celebrated, they found that within the walls of the House of Windsor and also within the pages of certain tabloid press here in the UK, those differences were almost being weaponized against her. We saw in the papers this Duchess difficult narrative emerge that was not only fed by insiders within the palace giving negative information about Meghan to the press, but also fed off a number of sexist and racist tropes about Meghan, that she was too demanding, too difficult, too different, too everything. And of course, that's extremely problematic. And one of the things that I hope that we have a conversation about now that this book's out, that we get to see the impact that those sorts of words can have on someone. Uh, there's also been some speculation of a feud between the sister-in-laws, between Meghan and Kate. Any truth to that? Well, isn't it funny that the two successful women are immediately pitted against each other in the pages of the tabloids? And we saw that dueling duchess's narrative quickly emerge. And actually, when you look into the story, and we really go into great detail about this in the book, the problem really lied between Harry and William. The fractures were on their side. And it was one of the things that prevented Kate and Meghan from really ever getting closer to each other. But I know also there were points at which Meghan expected Kate, a former newcomer, to really be someone that she could lean on in some of the more difficult times, particularly when facing the press. And unfortunately, that, that extended hand never came. And there lies the reason why the two are just not that close even today. All right. Omid Scobie in London.
We appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.